I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the Metavid Wiki features. Um, Metavid Wiki is uh, an extension of MediaWiki and Semantic MediaWiki with uh, interfaces into video. Uh, let's start with there's three major uh, interfaces the stream view, the search interface, and the sequence builder. We'll go through them real quick here. Here's the stream view. Uh, it essentially presents you with like a timeline here to uh, quickly jump through the given requested segment of time. Um, and each of these can be uh, edited um, and sort of synced up with, uh, with the video. Uh, once you've sort of found these are synced up, you can go ahead and save it. Um, and it just saves right there. Uh, in addition to transcript data, we also have uh, tags or uh, annotations. Here we have uh, this is this section of the video, two minutes to eleven minutes, has been tagged as the morning schedule or as the schedule. This is where they essentially you know go over the morning schedule for the day. Um, likewise, here we have the opening prayer. Um, if we click through on that tag, we can see all the clips that have been tagged with uh, opening prayer. Uh, this, of course, generates a RSS feed. Um, you can plug it into Democracy Player, or it's now known as Miro, or any other use that you may have for <laughs> RSS feeds video. Where you can play them back right here in the in the category interface, or play them back at full screen, or or in, or in a little miniature window there. <coughs> um, we'll do a quick search. So we search for war. Um, we get a lot of results. Um, we might decide we want to uh, reduce that re result set. We go into advanced media search. Uh, say we only want it spoken by Christopher S. Bond. Let me go ahead and run that search. That restricts it. Oops. We want band. <coughs> that restricts it to only uh, that person's mentions of war, and again, that uses sort of the semantic wiki properties to only look for those pages. Uh, we can then put a clip in line here. Uh, if we like this clip and want to post it on our blog, for example, we get easy access to embed code. We just sort of copy that, uh, paste it into our blogger account, uh, hit pub post. Uh, view our blog, and here it is on the blog. <coughs> Make it full screen. Uh, back to our wiki here. Uh, it's a basic search interface. Uh, as the more semantic properties get added in, you can imagine these things getting expanded. Uh, more, more of that feature. Uh, now we'll quickly demo the uh, sequencer. Uh, essentially, the sequencer is for making playlists and uh, keeping that it's versioned and you know having all the properties of that we like about wikis. Uh, we can go ahead and edit this play this sequence. Get up the sequence editor. Here we can do your normal basic uh, drag and drop rearrangement of clips. We can uh, reset the in and out points. Um, we can sort of scrub through the video. It'll give us uh, frame updates. Um, we can go ahead and play and start playing from the fourth clip there. Um, once we once we're satisfied with the clip, we can uh, or if we want to add more, we can go ahead and search by stream name. We eventually, we'll have uh, that search you just saw built into this interface too. So you know, you set the in and out points. Um, Preview the clip that we selected. If we like it, we can go ahead and use that. Let's make it a lot shorter though. Go ahead and add it to the sequence. And it pops in there. We can say, well, we want it actually to show up first. Um, 
once we're happy with the sequence, we can go ahead and save it. We can, you know, this is a normal, again a normal wiki page, so. Categories and things. 